Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 25th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and thank you for joining me today. And I apologize, I have not been on for three days. I am slowly collecting a lot of evidence. There's been a lot of things going on around the world, and I've actually been spending a lot of time watching other YouTube videos. Um, in regards to the large seismic movement from around the world, which I'll be getting to, and also um, looking at some cyclone developments uh, throughout Australia. There's a cyclone developing over northwestern Australia later in the week, and also one heading towards Papua New Guinea, or sorry, Vanuatu, another tropical cyclone developing there. And there's also one forming in the Indian Ocean again. And later on the week, it most likely will grow to a Category 1 or 2 tropical cyclone heading towards Madagascar, I'm sure. Around the world we go, overlooking Europe and Russia. Uh, Russia is now having an extreme cold event due to this high pressure ridge large high pressure ridge cold temperatures all the way down into India again and northern parts of Iraq and Afghanistan overlooking the Pacific Ocean still very large low pressure centers developing the same jet stream following the same jet stream and now there's a high pressure ridge stuck in the Alaskan Peninsula blocking any low pressure systems from coming in. And then of course we've got this very dense large low pressure system that has been spinning in the Alaskan Peninsula. And that I'm sure those are atmospheric compression earthquakes that we've been having over the last few days. We had the large 7.9 and many, many aftershocks in this area. And overlooking South America, still thunderstorms, daytime heating every day. Towards the end of the week, they will get more intense as temperatures rise in northern parts of South America. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, large high pressure blockade and low pressure, very warm low pressure going over the Atlantic Basin right now. And low pressure is following the jet stream and staying dry throughout Europe, but cold temperatures definitely dipping all the way down to places like Italy. And that's it for the weather around the world. And we're looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Two very large earthquakes one in Vanuatu, 5.7, pretty deep earthquake, looks roughly about 400 kilometers deep. Same with the 5.0 in the Tonga region, 4.8 in the Philippines. And then you can see here, we had some large activity in California, Ferndale, California, 5.8, followed by a 5.0. And we had the action move right north along the San Andreas fault line, or sorry, move south along the Cascadia and into the San Andreas. After all these very large earthquake swarms, this is the last 36 hours for earthquakes. We had that large 8.1 downgraded to a 7.9 and look at all those aftershocks. My oh my, what is going on? We've got crustal movement all over the place. Volcanoes popping off all over the place. Inactive becoming active. Erupting to full-blown red alert. 
So stay aware and prepared, folks. This was a weather and earthquake update for you from Medial Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Morning Dew. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun. Much love and get your morning dew. Bye-bye.